Adrian, that was quite extravagant, wasn't it? So I'm going to bring you slap back down to earth. I'm going to have some Japanese kind of street food, comfort food. Nice, yeah, I love it. Really easy to make and makes cabbage taste divine, okay? So obviously it starts with a beautiful white cabbage. There we go. So I just want you to shred that up into little, little kind of bite-sized pieces. You're going to grate that carrot as well yep. and then chop up that spring onion. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm doing all the work here, aren't I? Just gonna relax. No, of course I'm going to get working. So I'm going to crack two eggs in here because we need a bit of a batter to obviously bring everything together and that's what we're going to fry. So it's just like a normal pancake. So I've just got like a cabbage pancake. Two eggs there. I'm just thinking on a Sunday morning, if I put uh, tell the kids I've got pancakes for them, I'll serve some cabbage pancakes, Look, they I might not be too happy. I think sometimes, you know, you just don't be transparent. You just say it's a pancake <laughs> With and you tell them after. There we go. There you go. So we have some eggs in there. And what I'm also going to do is now just flavour the egg. So I have some nice. light soy sauce. I'm just going to put one tablespoon. And I'm also going to do about three quarter tablespoon of sesame oil just in there. Uh, so I've got a bit of water here as well. I'm just going to add that. You can have a little bit to hand just in case. Nice. Now, wet ingredients done, and now you add the dry. It's the easiest way to do kind of baking or anything you're using kind of flour and liquid. So I have here some just all-purpose plain flour. So we're just going to slowly mix that one. I think you there. picked out the noisiest cheese crater we've got there. <laughs> Is that enough for you? you? Want a little bit more? No, nope, that's, per okay, that's perfect. We're going to make one big. Pancake, okay, spring in there. Spring onion as well? Yep, spring onion. So we're making a batter. Now, traditionally, this might be a tempura batter that they'd oh, use. Nice. And often as well, they use a yam and they will grate that yam. And I don't know if you've ever grated yam, but it turns into kind of almost like a, a liquid bubbly goo. It's absolutely fantastic once you start grating it. it sounds like a delightful but thing I've to eat. There we go. my own way of doing it if you don't have yams to hand. So I have a bit of baking powder here as well to help nice. just have a bit of a puff. Uh, a little bit like a pikelet would be. So I'm going to mix that batter together, just nice. like that. Now, what you're going to do is, while I put some extra virgin olive oil in that pan, yep. I want you to plop it in there and have a spoon for you to just mix it around and just let it all touch and have a little swimming pool within there all the go. batter there. So when you're frying, I want you to use some really good Australian extra virgin, virgin olive, olive oil. oil. The good stuff, like. yeah, that's what we, we like. like. So, Rosie, what do you call this dish? Okonomiyaki. <laughs> ah, beautiful. You struggle with that one. I, I couldn't beautiful get that one Beautiful Japanese we street food. Oh, well done. That so is gorgeous. So I put gorgeous. salt and pepper in there, mix it all around nicely. And I noticed when I put the salt in there, the cabbage sort of softens up a little bit. It yeah. sort of breaks it down a little bit. It yeah. does. And we're also we're going to fry it, but we're going to steam it a little bit as well. Nice. So you can make little ones, but traditionally, you kind of nice big one. Just It's one portion, but it's almost like a bit of a pizza. You know, you're having one to yourself in there. So you saw my big dish, so you have to double it with yours, don't you? There That's we go. That's the whole aim of the yeah, game, yeah, isn't like it, that. really? So we'll get that just in there. Now, this can be a bit of a messy dish as well, so don't worry about having a perfect circle. Yeah. That's great. Look at us working as a team. There you go. You got that? <laughs> That's perfect. So now I'm just going to shape that into a nice bit of a circle there. Nice that beautiful olive oil is going to help with the frying. So I'm just going to fry that for about two to three minutes so it goes nice, crispy and golden brown on the bottom. I'm going to stick the lid on and I'm just going to let it kind of steam so that cabbage softens even more so because it is quite a thick pancake. Then what we're going to do is we're going to flip it <laughs> and we're going to decorate it. doesn't age it's quite a big one it's more of a family size one so you could always cut that up into four portion it away so of course now we Slide need it to it's quite sturdy oh, it can handle that. quite a bit don't you worry look at you so throwing a there. pellet knife in a pan around no, i know yeah. so now it's about decorating so take your weapon there weapon. now we go. what i'm gonna do is often as well in uh japan Things that they do make things look pretty cool, don't they? So we're gonna do the we're gonna do the little crisscross there I with you were our Koopy do a Mayo. Big R for Rosie and a big R for I could have done that, couldn't could. I? Now Koopy Mayo's just got rice vinegar in it compared to distilled, so you will have that kind of iconic taste as well. Oh, oh we really went. <laughs> there we go. In between. Oh, I squirted it out there. It's fry whatever you like. It's decorate it whatever way you like. It's really up to you how you do this <laughs> one. That's actually gonna be delicious though. <laughs> now it has some sesame seeds, a little bit of extra magnesium. Them, just to chill us out. Now, when On I eat sesame seeds, Japan. I'm going to think of magnesium for the rest of my life. Yes, you now. are. You good. We go. so, so we've got oh, some black ones there yeah. as well, and I've got some fried shallots. Oh. Now, I think that's quite a pretty dish. Uh, some may say it's a bit of a schmozzle, but uh, I think sometimes the best food 
isn't always that pretty, is it? It's so a great one. let's have there a go. go. Cut straight into it. It smells fantastic. The ginger on the hot pancake here is giving it a the lovely sort of flavour. Beautiful pickled ginger. Nice. Now I want people to eat cabbage. It's full of vitamin K. It's full of fibre, but I do want it to taste nice mm. as well. Have I done that? That is really good. It's got a nice crunch to it. That's a great snack yep. food. And you can make them small if you wanted to or large, but you could give this to me any time, Rosie. Really simple with stuff that you'll find in your fridge anyway. Yum. I'm going in for more. more. There we go.